A historic day in Vatican City. The first ever Latin American has been elected Pope. Pope Francis is also the first Jesuit Pope. Tens of thousands cheered as he appeared on the balcony above St. Peter's Square. Marcy Gonzalez was there and watched it all unfold. Ave mus papam. Cardinal Jorge Bergoglio of Argentina is now Pope Francis. Reading the crowds in St. Peter's Square tonight, praying, asking for blessings for himself and for the whole world. 76-year-old Bergoglio is the first Jesuit pope and the first from Latin America, home to 40 percent of all Catholics. That's amazing, incredible, incredible. The Catholic Church is alive and well, and I think it's really one of the best things that could happen maybe at this time. A groundswell of emotion echoed around the globe. This was a great choice. I mean, this is just great overall, just for the growth of the church. It's about time we had a common man in the, um, in the papacy that, you know, can relate to all of our common problems. The white smoke signaling the election of a new pope came on the second day of the conclave after just the fifth vote. He's a man of confidence and poise, and, and, uh, uh, but he, there's also that splendid with a beautiful sincerity and simplicity. That simplicity, a hallmark of his life. Back home in Buenos Aires, he lived modestly in a tiny apartment and often rode the bus. He was devoted to ministering to the poor. It's interesting he took the name Francis, so it's not just the Jesuit spirituality, it's obviously the Franciscan spirituality uh, of working with the poor that really appeals to him. But Pope Francis won't be returning to the home he left behind. He moves into his apartment here in Vatican City, now the leader of 1.2 billion faithful. And tomorrow, Pope Francis is expected to meet with his predecessor, Pope Emeritus. The inaugural mass for the new pontiff will be held on Tuesday. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Rome. Catholics in our area are celebrating the newly installed Pope. And News 13's Megan Shearing's live from the Basilica of St. Lawrence in downtown Asheville. Megan, several folks went there to pray after the announcement was made. And they did, Larry, and they tell me they are hopeful that Pope Francis will lead the Roman Catholic Church in the right direction. As shouts and cheers fill St. Peter's Square, halfway around the world here in Asheville, Emotions are running just as high. My wife and I walked over just uh, in excitement to see what might be happening here. After cardinals elected a new pope, Catholics from all over started to descend on the Basilica of St. Lawrence to pray. We have somebody to have faith in, to guide us safely through everything. Most had no idea who was selected, but they were excited that a new chapter in the church's history was about to begin. I hope that a lot of changes are made for the good, cleaning up the bad reputation that's been set for the past couple of years and, you know, just bringing new light to the church community. Just somebody that can lead the church and bring the church back into um, really a feeling that will bring some of the members that have left out of the church back into the church. Many Catholics say they are holding faith in Cardinal Jorge Bergoglio's experience. But others feel the Vatican could have used a younger voice. I think it's time for someone younger so that they can really communicate well with all the social media that's going around and just relate to the world around with the younger populations. Still, with a majority vote in Rome, Catholics in Asheville have confidence about his leadership. Now, the Roman Catholic Church... Er, Roman Catholic Diocese of Charlotte, excuse me, is also reacting to the new pope. Uh, Bishop Peter Jugas says Pope Francis takes the names of two well-known Catholic saints, St. Francis of Assisi and also St. Francis Xavier. Reporting live in downtown tonight, Megan Shearing, News 13.